This wasn't no bullshit stoppage. Sergey Kovalev came out there and did exactly what myself, Quan Paxton, Kenny Lopez, Thunderdome Boxing said that he was going to do. He came out. He set things up with the jab. He had the conditioning. He has the strength and conditioning. Coach Quan Paxton talked about. He had the power. Almost knocked Jean Pascal out in the third round. The ropes held him up first time that he was counted down. Okay, and then was able to finish him off technically with deceptive offense in the eighth round. Now, Jean Pascal got a lot of heart. You never want to see anybody got hurt. He got his daughter out there. Uh, uh, Sergey Kovalev just had a son. Okay, you don't want to see nobody get hurt. The referee with a great stoppage. I know he might thought it was bullshit, but you can come back another day. He 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 landed some great counter punches, some great body shots. He brought the fight. It was an action packed fight. That's what we need more in the light heavyweight division. Okay, Sergey Kovalev is the crusher. He is a true champion. He is a clean champion. He is a conditioned champion. He wants it. He will go in anybody's backyard. He is ready for Adonis Stevenson to step up to the plate. Stevenson came over to Bernard Hopkins. He said, I'm ready to fight this guy. I will fight this guy. Well, sign the contract because that's what we need. Hopkins said, we need to make this fight. And that shows you how good Bernard Hopkins is as a defensive fighter and how good he is as a fighter. He, he went out he dominated John Pascal in two fights even though the first one was called a draw and Kovalev shut out of uh, Bernard Hopkins and I got all the respect for Bernard Hopkins the Ellie and the executioner 50 years old right now he knocked him down with a flash knockdown he was able to shut him out and look what he did to John Pascal he beat John Pascal and John Pascal brought the fight too so I respect Pascal but I don't respect the things that Pascal did leading up to the fight putting his hands on Sergey Kovalev's hat, making allegations, you know, the drug testing. Don't talk about drug testing unless you're going to take voluntary anti-doping agency drug testing. VADA, okay? Jean Pascal did not take VADA. He did uh, WADA compliant testing, okay, but he didn't do VADA. All right. He was complaining all about the drug testing when that did when Kathy Duver said you pay for it, he didn't want to pay for it, and then he went didn't want to take Vada. Now I'm not saying that he used performance enhancement drugs, but he was linked to Angel Memo Heredia, a man that came from track and field that supplied Tim Montgomery, Marion Jones, Olympic athletes with performance enhancement drugs and testified on a grand jury that there are undetectable performance enhancement drugs. He was linked to him. That didn't happen. You either have punching power or you don't. You either have these things or you don't. You cannot supplement it by using performance enhancement drugs. And I'm not saying that Jean Pascal used performance enhancement drugs. What I am saying is he was he made a complaint about the drug testing. And since he made a complaint, why don't succumb to the best drug testing, which is VADA? But let's talk about this fight. Big shout out to strength and conditioning a coach of Sergey Kovalev, Quan Paxton, who had Sergey up in the mountains at Big Bear, running in snowstorms, had him in Miami, training like a madman, two to three times a day, jumping rope, Pilates, massages, um, eating healthy, comes in here, proves once again he has the conditioning, proves once again he has the skill, proves once again that he will fight Adonis Stevenson. Adonis Stevenson going to Bernard Hopkins saying, I will fight this man. Sign the contract. Sign the contract. All right? We, we don't need no more of this talk. If if Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao can make the fight happen, anybody can make the fight happen. Now, I got a lot of hate. I predicted this fight absolutely unequivocally right. Sergey Kovalev knocked him out. People saying, you don't know shit about boxing. What the fuck? I just predicted the fight right. We called it right down the middle. Exactly what it happened. No bullshit. Told you exactly how it was going to happen. I know what I'm talking about. We love the support we get. We're going to go on Google Hangout. We got the biggest stars coming on our Google Hangout. And I'll, I will talk to anybody. I don't care who it is. Okay? Anybody can come on my Google Hangout. Don Juan Banks is here and here to stay. Sergey Kovalev, the crusher, successfully defends the light heavyweight titles, the WBO. WBA Super, IBF, 27 and 0 now with 24 KOs. Defeat Jean Pascal, former WBC champion. Now 29, 3, 17 KOs. Got heart. Don't want to see nobody get hurt. Had his daughter there. You know, Sergey is motivated by his son. Okay, we don't never want to see nobody get hurt, but that was not a bullshit stoppage. If you say that was a bullshit stoppage, then you're full of shit and you don't know shit about boxing.
Kovalev did what he needed to do. Sergey Kovalev stopping 10 out of 11 opponents. A KO percent before this fight of 85-19%. Sergey Kovalev, just absolutely amazing. I respect this man so much. I can't wait. Come on, Paxton. I, I, I text him, okay? We thought the thing was going to end in the third round when the ropes held up Jean Pascal, but his heart held him up with some great counter rights, some great shots to the body, pushing forward, although the threat of the power is always there. Kovalev showing he has chin. Kovalev showing he has conditioning. Kovalev showing he has skill. Showing he has patience. Yo, he could have did a little things a little bit better. Still looking for the one punch. But he got back on track with Coach uh, John David Jackson. And that shows you how good of a defensive fighter. Look, Kenny Lopez was telling me how good. That shows you how good Bernard Hopkins is, man. That shows you that even at the age of 49 when he fought Sergey Kovalev, that he was he's good defensively. Okay? He knew that he had to watch out for the power of Sergey Kovalev after that flash knockdown and a shutout. And I got all the respect for Bernard the Executioner Hopkins, who even said that Adonis Stevenson needs to make this fight happen. Hey, come on. We don't need to talk no more. If Mayweather and Pacquiao can make it happen, anybody can make it happen. Anybody can make it happen. May the 2nd, live. MGM Grand. Take the time to subscribe. We're going on Google Hangout after this. I can't wait to see you live, especially if you got something to say. Listen to this. Here we go. Montreal, Canada, March 14th. Light Heavyweight Championship, Unification Online, WBO, WBA Super, IBF. Sergey Kovalev now 27 and 0, 24 knockouts, going against former WBC champion Jean Pascal, 29 3, 17 KOs. Kovalev, they stepped on the scale. Uh, Kovalev, 174.3, Pascal, 175. Okay, tonight. Kovalev, 189, four-pound um, weight advantage. As Pascal weighed 185, 24-inch for uh, Kovalev, 23 and a half for Pascal. Kovalev, 31, Pascal, 32. Don Turner in the corner of Sergey Kovalev saying this is the meanest guy he ever seen in the ring. Round one, I gave the Kovalev left to the body. He was setting them jabs up. Remember how he broke, broke Cedric Agnew's ribs with a jab. Jabs to the chest. That's how you wear down an opponent. Pascal pushes forward, but nothing much. Kovalev, 11 out of 44. Sit round two. Okay, I give to Kovalev again. Kovalev right, stepping things up with the jet, setting things up with the jab in the right hand. Left hook by Pascal. Jabs in the right. Pascal a little um hurt. Yep. Kovalev finds his range. Pascal um with a a, a low left. Okay, under the belt. Pascal swinging wild. We we talked about that. He lunges in. We talked about he must have that movement. He needs to get in and out. I thought he would be more explosive, but I was I was impressed from what he what he offered. Pascal was leaving, leaning in. Second round gave it to Kovalev. Round three, Pascal getting more aggressive, deceptive offense. That's what I told you about Sergey Kovalev. Good right by Pascal. Body shot, counter right, left hook by Kovalev. Kovalev to the body. Pascal to the body. Kovalev knocks Pascal in the row first time that he was counted down. He was virtually out, left and the right to Pascal. They put him right in the ropes. Third round, Kovalev. Okay. Um, uh, here we go. Round four. Here we go. Huge flurry by Kovalev. Counter right by Pascal. One, two, one, two. Pascal hurt. Big right by Pascal. Overhand. Um, missed by Pascal. Pascal pushed forward. They exchanged blows. It was an action pack fourth round. Give a lot of respect to Pascal. Was able to push forward. Daughter. They said she left at some point. She's even coming back. Then the fifth round. Uh, uh, Kovalev dominated the first part. Pascal coming back in the second uh, part. A uh, good counter. Good body shot by Pascal. Um, I gave round five to Pascal. Now round six, it was very close. A lot of people gave it to Pascal, but I gave it to Kovalev. Um, that's how I saw it, seeing it. Good counter by Pascal. Pascal, another right. Pascal um, um, loading up. Pascal, uh, right eye was swelling up. Another right uh, shot. Jabs um, set up the right big hook. Big left hook and a flurry. Okay? So um, I gave it to Kovalev. Round seven, Kovalev, but it was very close. Round seven, Kovalev uh, pushed Pascal down. That's how you wear down an opponent. Bernard Hopkins talked about that. Good jab by Kovalev. Now Kovalev is getting back to his technical offense. Um, good left to the body by Pascal. Good left backs up Pascal in the seventh round. It's hurt. Then we go into eighth. Here we go. Kovalev uh, slips. Combo by Kovalev. Another combo by Kovalev. He slips. Um, a lot of people thought that was a knockdown. 
Then he finishes off Pascal with 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 the right. That's it. That's the end of the night. Sergey Kovalev wins. We predicted it right. Quan Paxton will be calling me any minute now, so stay tuned for that. Take the time to subscribe. We're going to be back, back with you with some big boxing. You know we're covering Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather. Thank you for your support. I tell you. <laughs> We've been through a lot here at Into the Arena, but we continue to strive. We continue to move forward, and we're not going anywhere. Okay, we're weathering the storm. He called himself the Black Rocky Balboa. Me and Quan Paxton joking. More like Mr. T. Okay, but geez, I see he was kind of jinxing himself because how can you be the black Rocky Balboa? More like Apollo Creed. But we gave him Mr. T. Mr. T would have put up a better fight because Apollo Creed got killed. But, you know, that's why I said it was a good good stoppage because you don't want to see nobody get hurt like that. I don't want to see Jean, Jean Pascal hurt. I want to see him come back and fight another day, especially going in front of his own home, own hometown audience. Uh, Kovalev will go into anybody's backyard. He's well conditioned. He's well trained. He's ready to put any, ready to fight anybody. Ready to fight anybody. I tell you, this man is the real deal. He's a true champion. 2014 Ring Magazine Fighter of the Year. I, I just thank the fans so much for your support. Into the ring of the